Mid Journey just released version 5.2 and he has some of the biggest upgrades I've ever seen inside of Mid Journey. The first one is variation control. Now you could get subtle variations in one click. It now does a much better job understanding your text input. And the biggest update that I've seen Mid Journey release ever is now you could zoom out and Mid Journey fills out the rest of the image. And you could keep zooming out 2x at a time till you get as wide as you like. There's also a custom option that lets you put in exactly how far you want to zoom out and change your image size. I want to show you a few examples. First, let me show you the variation control and then we'll get to the zoom and the custom options here inside of Discord. If you still haven't signed up for Mid Journey and you don't have Mid Journey or Discord or don't know how I got to this point, I do have a complete tutorial to Mid Journey that I'll link below as well. So my first prompt was three supercars racing in sunset cinematic eye level shallow depth of field super resolution raw. And these are the four different options I got. So now I'm just going to upscale this number four here. I'm going to press up res. And now these are the two different variation options that you could get when you up res an image. The strong one basically gives you wide different varieties. The subtle one is really nice because it just changes it slightly. So they all still kind of look the same. I'll show you another example while that's going. So this medieval soldier prompt gave me four. I up res number three and then I tried the subtle variation. And as you could see, these four look like the same person, but there are subtle changes, right? It's not entirely someone else. So this is going to be really, really handy subtle variation. Variation control has been around, but now you could just do it with those two buttons underneath the video. And here's the car one. Again, four different variation in a subtle way. And as you can see, the background, the background cars are different, right? But the actual car itself is the same. So this is going to come in really handy. And then let me show you the strong variety here. And the strong vary option, you can see it changed the angle. Sometimes you put the car in a whole different lane. So that does change it, but it still kept the fundamental prompt the same. So it's still making a variation of that same output, not entirely from the new prompt. Now, let me show you the zoom option here. And this time my prompt is princess close up in front of a castle during sunset, cinematic and raw. I'll let this finish up and I'll show you exactly how to zoom out. So here are the four different versions that I got princess in front of the castle. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom one out here. So I'll go ahead and up res number four. So I'm going to press U4. So here's the upres version and you could see the zoom out option appears. I'm going to show you this as well. If you type in settings here, you need to make sure if you press enter on settings, you need to make sure you're on mid journey version 5.2. 5.1 was the previous one and these are all the previous ones. You could still access all of those, but you should be on 5.2 now by default. So now if I take this image, I could zoom out 2x. I'll show you this custom zoom that gives you more option on image size as well. 2x is going to still make a square image. All the mid journey images are in square size and you could actually change that to be vertical or horizontal or really any size. I'll show you that next. So these are the four different varieties I got. And as you can see, it filled out around that person, right? The other one was kind of a close up shot. There was no detail around them. Now I have detail, different variety of castles. Some of them have people, some don't. And then I could go ahead and upscale any one of these here. And then I could zoom out again. So you could keep doing this to get a wide, wide picture of this space here. So in this case, I'm going to show you custom. So by default, you have 1.5 and 2. But the custom one basically allows you to type in your own zoom. So right here where it says zoom, you could type in any number, but it has to still be from 1 all the way to 2. So you can't do more than 2 because you have to do that in stages. You have to do 2x zoom, upscale, do it again. So you can't just type in 4. But in this case, let me type in 1.8 here. And then the aspect ratio is really interesting. The AR11 one, one is a square, but if I do 2, 1 is horizontal. If I do 1, 2, it's vertical. This one right here is going to stretch it more on the horizontal side. So I'm going to do actually, let's do 3, 1 here to get something that's really wide. And here's the result. As you could see, it filled in all the information on the left and the right. I used that 3 to 1 aspect ratio, it stretched it out. And in this case, I got a pretty decent image. Usually you want to do this in stages. So zoom out maybe 1.5x, maybe stretch it out a little bit with the aspect ratio like 2 to 1. Don't go all the way to 3 to 1. If you're going vertical, go 1 to 2. It's going to get you some really good outputs. We're also releasing an entire platform for learning generative AI. We have entire courses on Mid Journey, 
on ChatGPT, prompt engineering, and so much more. I'll put a link in the description to that if you wanna learn more. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.